Hey, my name is Amira. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to bring you guys a video about my favorites from Fenty Beauty. Fenty are about to launch another collection, so I thought now would be a great time to tell you guys what my favorites are of the you know, collection already as stands, and then that way you can see what might be worth checking out when the new stuff launches in, I'm pretty sure, a week or so now. If you like these videos and want to see more of me, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you find it helpful. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. I wanted to do a top five video, but I just have too many favorites from Fenty. They have done so, so, so well with this line. Rihanna should be so proud of herself. I saw her video. What did she, did she do a video with Vogue, I think it was? Or Elle? can't remember but I watched it and she showed some of her new makeup and you know some of the existing ones and she's just so cute she's definitely goals um, but yeah I wanted to show you guys my favorites so let's jump in my two favorites favorite 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 favorites and I'm not even wearing either of them today because I wanted to try something new but my two favorites are these two lip products right here the Fenty Beauty stunner lip paint this is just everything. I'm not a red lip person at all, but I just, I can't help but wear this all of the time. I wear it nearly every single week now, which for me, you know, I don't even wear makeup every day. I wear it maybe once or twice a week, pretty much just when I'm filming really. And I wear this like at least once a week. I wore it the first week I um, used it like three times. Like it is just the most perfect red. It just doesn't transfer once it's dried. It's the most comfortable liquid lip I have actually ever worn. Ever worn. It is just perfection. Everything about this is just amazing. I cannot fault this in the slightest. It has the most unique little um, lip applicator thingy bob here for you to apply it on. There will be shots here of how I look with it on as well for you guys to see. I just love this so much. If you want the perfect red lip, this is my signature red lip now. This is it. Like I just love it so so much and this is the Mademoiselle lipstick. Um, it is in the shade Candy Venom. It's really, really nice, but it's not transfer proof. If I'm wearing a bold lipstick, I do prefer something like that as opposed to the Mademoiselle's, just because it is, um, it isn't transfer proof, this one. So um, I'm worried that I will smear it everywhere or get on my teeth, whereas this one's it's set, it is not going anywhere. And then in complete contrast to a bright red lip, I love the Gloss Bomb Lip Gloss. This is the most perfect lip gloss in all of existence. Like these are probably two of my all time favorite lip products in general. Um, the, yeah, the gloss bomb, you can wear it with like no makeup, makeup, minimal makeup, everyday makeup, more fancy going out at night makeup. It is just the perfect gloss. You can wear it on its own over a lip liner, over a lipstick. The color is just so flattering. This color looks gorgeous on everyone, which is so rare with nudes, but I think it's because it's like a little bit sheer, so it does let a little bit of your natural lip color show through, or if you've got a lipstick underneath, that will show through a little bit too. So it's gonna suit you if you're super, super pale. It's gonna suit you if you're a really deep skin toned woman of color. It's gonna suit anything in between. And sometimes if I'm going out somewhere, I'll put on just like a normal nude lipstick, whatever, and then I won't even take that with me to touch up. I'll just take this to touch up because I know my lips will start to dry out and this will rehydrate them and I'm pretty sure oh my nose is super blocked that's why I sound really nasally but yeah it smells delicious as well like candies oh god sorry I'm so sick still so next up we have base products this is the soft matte pro filter the primer and this is the pro filter soft matte foundation so today I use them together generally I don't use them together though that since they're both more of that mattifying finish and my skin is more dry, I love these both with different partners. So the primer is just, it's really weird because it's like a mattifying primer, but it is so hydrating when you put it on. I can't put anything on my skin where it's like drying matte as I'm kind of rubbing it out. It just, for me, that feels so, so gross on my dry skin. 
I hate it, but yeah, when I'm rubbing it in, it feels moisturizing, but then it starts to get tacky, so I know my foundation is going to stick to it. So I like to use this with something a bit more sheer, like for example, um, like a Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation, or... Um, this one, like the Clinique Even Better Makeup Foundation. Anything a little bit sheerer and a little bit more on the dewy side, then I find that pairs really, really well with this. But if you have more oily skin, you can probably use this with any foundation and you would love it. It's just so weird. Like, it's just so... It's like this, like, light pinky shade. So you would think it would be really, like brightening and hydrating and illuminating which it is like but it still keeps your makeup super super matte like it just see how it's like a slight glow here but then it just dries down to be matte and my foundation only has glow where I have added glow with highlighter today so oh, I just it is such a unique kind of primer. I'm very, very impressed with that. And then, yeah, the foundation, I bought this myself right when it came out, I believe. Um, I have the shade 180. I don't notice the oxidizing to be too, anything too crazy. I find that a lot of matte foundations, it's not really oxidizing, it's just drying. Since it dries to that powder finish, when it dries, it's like, when it's wet, it's like dewy and more light reflective. So it's picking up more light so it looks lighter. But when it dries down to that matte finish, it's not picking up as much light. So it just looks a little bit darker and a little bit flatter. That's my straightener turning off. I've heard a lot of people saying it's too matte for them. It's like too cakey for them. Now, if you guys have seen my videos before, I like more of a light coverage, light medium coverage. I'm not really about the full coverage life. I probably built up a full coverage today because I was just filming and I just get carried away. But I will put one to one and a half, two pumps of this foundation on my face, blend it in with my Sigma sponge and it just looks really nice on my skin. I think that if you're finding it's going too cakey or looking too heavy or too drying on the skin, you either need a more hydrating primer with it or you need to use less of it. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't really have any issues with it at all. It looks beautiful, it looks flawless. Uh, my girl Nadia loves it as well and her skin is on the oily side. So I'm on the dry side, she's on the oily side. It works for both of us so yeah, I think it's really beautiful and I love how flawless matte skin looks. Like being dry, I love dewy skin. I have a special place for dewy skin. It's my usual go-to. But if I'm going out somewhere at nighttime, I'm going to be photographed. I love a matte look because it just photographs more flawlessly. So this would be something I would do and my skin will just look really, really perfect. So yeah, I really rate this foundation. I know it's not for everyone, but I really, really like it. Next, I wanna talk about the matchsticks. So I have a matchsticks trio, but the other two colors are a little bit dark for me. I know I recommend, unless you like all three shades in a trio, just get them individually because yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this is the shade Truffle. This is what I used to contour my face today. When I first got this, I was like, this is really, really, really dark. But you can see how sparingly I apply it. And when I blend it out with a dense brush, something like this, the Sigma 3D HD Max Kabuki, because it's so big and fluffy and it's got a little bit of my foundation in there. It just buffs it out and it looks flawless and seamless. And this color is so nice. It's really neutral. So it kind of warms up my face a little bit, but it gives that nice um, shadow and sculpt to the face looks beautiful. I definitely want to get some more shades of this that will work for my skin tone so I can try it out as a concealer to highlight and stuff because yeah, the other shades I have just are too dark for me to do that with. And lastly, we're going to talk about highlights. So when I got the foundation, initially I also got this highlighter. This is the Kilowatt highlighter in Lightning Dust and Crystal Fire. So they have the little half duo. So one side's more pigmented and one side is more of a sheer highlight so yeah you've got your blinding and your lighter one so this is the one that I'm wearing today on my cheeks it's really beautiful originally I didn't rate it too highly I started to like it after I used it a little bit more and I actually like this color more so in my drawer I have a mini Fenty gloss bomb and that mini Fenty gloss bomb I'm dropping stuff it's so messy here the mini gloss bomb also came with this this is a mini hustler baby highlight now 
I mentioned Nadia before. This is her favorite highlight. When we were getting ready in Sydney, she had a duo and one of it was completely hip pan on and it's this shade, Hustler Baby. This works so beautifully for my body. I mix it with um, this one, Metal Moon, the lighter shade. Um, to get like a really blinding highlight. If I'm super tan, I'll just use it on its own. It just depends how fake tanned I am. This is just such a beautiful shade. I just, oh, I just love it. It's so, 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 so nice. It's like pink, but gold, but warm, but I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's so, so stunning. I love it. And then um, this is the other shade that I have. Oh. Um, it's just the single one, Metal Moon, so it's like more of that white one. Um, this is more similar to, say in the duo, how I said there's like a more sheer natural highlight and then a more blinding highlight. This is much more like the sheerer kind of highlight. I do find if I use this one on its own though, it can look a little bit uh, white if I don't mix it with something. So that's why I find that it mixes together with um, the Hustler Baby really, really nicely. So if we mix them together, I'll show you how it looks. Um, just because for me, sometimes Hustler Baby is just like a little bit too kind of tan. So you can see there. You see how it blends in with my skin just a little bit better. So I don't know, I just find that that Metal Moon one, it just kind of mixes with any highlights that are just like a little bit too dark for you um, so that's why I really really enjoy that one but my favorite shade is definitely still Hustle Baby out of all of them and yeah if you want it in the little duo I definitely recommend getting it because having a mini of the gloss bomb is like super handy as well um, if you love it like I do and you want to chuck it in a little clutch not that this is that big but you know, it just made me feel a little bit better about buying this as well. <laughs> anyway, I try really hard to resist from buying any limited edition products because if I don't have time to review them straight away, there might not be any point for you guys. So I've yeah, left out any limited edition products from this little chat. I'm pretty sure that that duo isn't limited edition, the mini gloss bomb and mini highlighter. Um, I saw it on Sephora only yesterday still. So yeah, anyway, that's that really. I, I don't know, I'm rambling. It's like the end of the day, I, oh my goodness. I've been, as I said, I was sick for a while. So my, I've just forgotten how to talk to people. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I just really wanted to sit down and film for you guys and have a chat and show you guys some of my favorite things. I love talking about my favorite things. Um, yeah, like fav favorite videos are just so fun because it's so positive. Everything is like something that I love, which is like the best thing ever. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Let me know down below your favorites from Fenty Beauty. And if there's anything you want me to review in more detail for you guys. Anyway, that's that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.